SELFSI, Spoken Easy Language for Social Inclusion. Uh, hello, everyone. We are very excited to present you the results from Lithuania. So me and my colleague, Justyna, we represent Vilnius University. So what happens in Lithuania? If we look at the total number, so we are very glad that even 71 persons responded to our survey. And we had more answers from professionals than from users. So we had 27 users, among whom twice more females than males, and 44 professionals, among whom many more females. And we also asked about the guidelines. So we are happy that we have the guidelines for Lithuanian prepared by Vilnius University linguists uh, for easy to read. So 16 professionals said that they use guidelines, these guidelines or the universal guidelines and 27 professionals. So more professionals still do not use guidelines. Maybe they do not even know about them. So if we look at the results, we chose only the most interesting ones for you to hear about. So what is difficult for users? It is difficult for users when people speak too fast to them and when they use hard words. And what is hard for professionals in Lithuania? So it is hard for them to explain complex thoughts to their um, colleagues, to not to the colleagues, but to the people they speak to. It is hard for them to find easy words, and it's hard for them to use appropriate visual aids, such as images. It may be hard to choose the most useful ones. We also asked the users of easy language when it is easier for them to understand other people. And the results show that uh, the users Really, um, it make uh, it is easier for users to understand other people than they speak loud and slowly, and when people are friendly. This is very important for them. And actually, uh, we can see here that emotional aspect, emotional connection between people during the conversation is very important. Um. We also asked professionals what they mostly do to make their language easier when they speak. And professionals told us, they um, answered the question by saying that they speak usually in short sentences and they ask for the feedback. So again, we see that um, asking for the feedback is very important and it's very important to see to understand, to notice if a person really um, gets what we said, what we say to him or her. And um, also we had uh, a part in the questionnaire where we had uh, some close questions where people um, answered the questions by saying if they um, agree with the um, statement that was said there. And um, from this part of the questionnaire, we have some uh, interesting details that we would like to share. The first one is the one that was already mentioned, that uh, humor is important. So we see that uh, mm. users find it really helpful when people make them laugh. Only two users of, of uh, who were the respondents uh, did not agree on that, but almost all said that it's very useful. So again, here we see that feeling comfortable, feeling um, emotionally um, well is very important. And we asked about uh, visual aids, additional materials, what is important there. And this, we saw that photos, pictures, flashcards really help a lot and uh, only one person said that it's not helpful. The rest were really glad about that if someone uses uh, that. Uh, however, um, our users said that it, they like it less when people are drawing while telling a story. Maybe they are still not very acquainted with uh, this method. We will see. 
And music or sound effects also do not attract users' attention when someone tells them a story. So we can see that most of the users answered that it is not helpful for them. 16 people answered this way. And also a very interesting fact that we found um, was that users find it less useful when someone calls them darling or honey when they talk to them. Maybe it's related to our culture because in Lithuania we use these cute words only in our families or in our romantic relationships. And users find it more helpful when people actually say user's name when they talk to them. So uh, using the name is also fine when you do not know the person very well. As you can see, uh, 12 people said that it is not helpful. So, of course, there is uh, more room for improvement. <laughs> and thank you very much. Uh, this was the summary from Lithuania. <laughs> Selfie. Spoken Easy Language for Social Inclusion. Partners are Zavo Trisa, RTV Slovenia, Dyslexi Verbundet, Universita degli Studi di Trieste, Vieglas Valodas Agentura, Vilnius Universitetas, Vsi Informatio Scaupimo Irsklaidos Centras. Funded by the European Union.